My dear students, welcome to week four of English language arts course. In this week, we are going to focus on writing as our first formative assessment. Remember that you are going to be assessed through criterion B uh, and criterion C and criterion D. To remind you, criterion B is about organizing. I need to see that you have employed organizational structures that serve the context and intention of your text. I want to see that you organize your opinions and ideas in a logical manner. And for criterion C, which is producing a text, I want to see that you have produced a text that demonstrates thought and imagination while exploring new perspectives and ideas. I want to see you choosing, uh, uh, in terms of lingu linguistics, making stylistic choices in literary and visual devices, demonstrating your awareness and impact on the audience. I want to see that you are selecting relevant details and examples to support your ideas. As for criterion D, I want to see that you are using appropriate and varied vocabulary. I want to see you writing in an appropriate register and style, using correct grammar, syntax, and punctuation, writing and spelling with accuracy, and using appropriate nonverbal communication techniques. This is when you are um, reading your, um, your, your text. Now, I wanted to remind you that you are going to write a nonfiction narrative about the influence someone from a different generation has had on you or someone you know. And this in this narrative, please draw on the texts you read in this unit. Let's start with day one. On day one, we are going to recognize nonfiction narrative texts. We're going to explore nonfiction narrative texts. I'm going to provide you with examples of nonfiction narratives that you can look at and you can examine so you can write something uh, similar to them. Uh, we're going to focus on the following words, pre-writing, dialogue, consequences, perspective, contradictions, characters, and so on. You're going to pre-write and you're going to use the savas to start planning your writing. You will have a self-assessment quiz that has to do with the nonfiction narratives and you will start um, writing the introduction about your nonfiction narrative. Now, let's go to day two. On day two, we are going to start with the introduction. I'm going to uh, teach you how to write an effective introduction, an introduction that generates interest uh, for the reader. We're going to concentrate on the indentation, on transitions, on main idea, and on how to attract your reader to what you are writing. You're going to watch a video about introduction. You're going to continue on Savas, your writing, and we are going to focus on transitional words and phrases where you are going to show the sequence of events in your uh, nonfiction narrative. Sequence of events in nonfiction narratives is very important as it shows how the events happen uh, in a clear timeline. As for day three, we're going to start with writing the body of our nonfiction narrative. We're going to discuss paragraphing because it's very important for me that you recognize and identify how to write your nonfiction in clear paragraphs. We're going to focus on indentation, punctuation, details, explanation, and on the body of the text. You're going to watch a video to learn how to, try, how to write a draft of the body. You're going to have the Savas link again to continue writing your, uh, your story 
and we're going to talk again about the importance of transitional words, how to support your ideas, how to add your details, and to write a concluding sentence at the end of each paragraph. Of course, for further practice, you will have extra resources so you can read more about how to write um, a nonfiction narrative. And I would like you to add um, figurative language to your writing, like alliteration, like assonance, like a simile. Um, we will discuss it more in our class. As for day four, we are going to head to the library again. We're going to discuss the big six model uh, to help you have a clear uh, idea, a clear vision of how to conduct a research through the big six model. We're going to recognize the model steps. We're going to um, we're going to discuss definitions, strategies, synthesis, evaluation, information, how to seek for the information. Remember that everything you need and all the resources and um, all the details about this week's, uh, this week's classes are on the BC. Don't you ever hesitate to ask me any question that comes to your mind. I am here to facilitate your learning. And remember that you have all the resources that you need on the LMS on the BC. I can't wait to start this week together.